Mike Hawthorne had only 60 hours to live when he was filmed at the National Sporting Club dinner. They called him the gay cavalier of motor racing. But gaiety ended for Mike Hawthorne. Life ended too. On the Guilford bypass he skidded, bumped a lorry, careered onto the verge, hit a tree. It was all over. At 29, world famous, he met death. Not racing, he'd defeated it there. No, it caught up with him, unawares on the road. And it was only 60 hours since they honoured him at the National Sporting Club. They all laughed and wisecracked as they presented him with a cocktail cabinet. He, characteristically, invited them all to come round someday and help him to empty it. It was his very gaiety that concealed from many that behind the boyish smile lay the determination without which he could never have been world champion. For example, Silverstone, 1953, his eye fixed on top racing honours. Honoured, in fact, already by being Ferrari's only driver at the meeting. When he skidded, his ice-cool head was equal to the danger. He was back on the track, unperturbed, still in the race. Mike won the Le Mans 24 hours in 1955. Even at this stage, the gay cavalier had known tragedy. Only the year before, his father was killed driving home from Goodwood. Mike led the Jaguar team at Le Mans. He got away well, but it was the strong Mercedes contingent that made the running. Then something this generation will never forget. Behind him, two cars collided as he pulled into the pits. More than 80 people were killed. He won, and the inquiry said he was not to blame. Nearly four years later, his own Jaguar was smashed against a tree. Mike Hawthorne was dead. The world salutes his memory.